Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I thought I'd explain one way that antisocial personalities, I call them ASPs for short, um, gull people who are normal mainstream people into colluding with them and beginning to work with them and uh, jeopardizing the purity of their soul matter in that way. Um, and this is also the way that the demon realm works when it whispers in our ear and uh, tries to tempt us to the dark. It works in a similar way. Um, what it is is that uh, both asps and demons have a preternatural ability to grasp our failings. Especially they will log on to something that we have done in our lives perhaps only once and which we think is a very, very, very bad thing. And if we could only take that one thing back, then that's what we'd want to do. We hope that we will be forgiven for this one thing, this, this thing that we consider to be a very great sin or a very great crime or something that no one can forgive, right? So, so the regular asp, who's an abnormal person, or the demon, or the big bad, can scan our brain and our etheric net for just that kind of malware that records the memory of something in this lifetime or in another lifetime that we consider to be really, really wrong and our action, okay? And then the asp or the demon or the big bad will say, whisper in our ear and say to us, I know that you're guilty of this and such. I understand. I myself have done that many times. And in exchange for the favor of empathizing with you and letting you know that you're not alone in this, they will ask you to do something that's more against your principles. And that way they get their foot into the door so that they can continue to degrade your soul um, matter and turn you into a being that's more um, synchronous or resonant. Mm. The opposite of dissonant, harmonic, that is, with their own soul wounding, which is very, very great in the case of asps. And in the case of demons and the big bads, the question doesn't even come up because through and through they're rotten and they have no souls at all. So here is what I suggest. If you're approached by someone who forgives you that one great sin, then say to yourself, what is it truly that I have in common with this person? What are the things that I have in common? And what are the things that I don't have in common? What is the big picture here? Don't jump to that tune and that catch and that take and that hook that the antisocial personality extends to you or that the demon realm does. You know, instead, engage your analytical ability, use your discrimination and discern what's truly so in this circumstance. If you need forgiveness for this one thing, then forgive yourself out of the largesse of your own heart. Forgive yourself. Ask God to forgive you too. And from 
that new ground of being forgiven, proceed onward with your soul mission in this lifetime.